Lynette Appling, and I'm your host for In Focus. Recently, I took a trip to Orlando, Florida to interview some incredible, powerful women. Uh, I love each and every one of them, and I learned so much. But there was one woman that really ministered to my heart. Her name is Apostle Michelle Kelly. She teaches about the in-between place, the place where it's real quiet, the place where you're confused and you feel alone, the place where you have to learn how to follow the first instruction. So come with me as we journey and learn about this place with Michelle Kelly. Michelle Kelly is a woman of integrity. She is humble, personable, passionate, caring, and truly an anointed vessel of God. She believes that it is her responsibility to birth God's people into their destiny so they can fulfill the purpose in the earth. Michelle Kelly has developed into a refreshing voice, kingdom builder, and victorious messenger, and ambassador of God's kingdom. So you are one of my spiritual moms, a mom that I admire and love. But I want to get the people to understand exactly how you began. So tell us the beginning of your story. Well, the beginning of my story goes back um, to Jamaica. I was born in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, the last child of 12, my mom had 12 children, five boys and seven girls. And I'm the baby. They call me the baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, was very sick. First of all, in, in the island of Jamaica, um, it was very sick. They gave up on me there to die. They couldn't help me because they didn't have the remedy or the medication to help me there. So long story short, I came to the United States um, through miracles, mm -hmm. through miracles. Um, I was very sick when I got here. I lived in New York for a good while. I stayed in, um, I lived very poor in New York. Mm -hmm. I lived in the attic for like three years. Wow. I had wow. no eat. Wow. I lived with no eat. I, um, uh, no boots, no coat. Just was very poor. At the same time, I was very sick. Um, mm -hmm. The Lord moved me, long story short, moved me from New York after prior and fasting and seeking the Lord. He moved me from there here to. Um, to Tampa, mm -hmm. met my husband and married. We've been married for 19 years. Wow. Um, up and you know, after getting married, and was thinking about my life was just going to be yeah. settled and fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I, I I served under a great woman of God in mm -hmm. the Tampa Bay area um, for probably about 10 years. Mm -hmm. Served there for about 10 years, and evangelized for about six years. You know, just evangelized the, the Tampa Bay region. Right. Didn't, I mean, just loved the Lord. All I wanted to do was just to plunge in the things of God. And that was good. I was comfortable there. I was working for a medical company, Billing and Coding. Mm -hmm. I was a coder for a medical group. Um, I loved my job. Yeah. Love my job, <laughs> love my job. I love to say yeah, Which is rare, which is job. rare for people to say. Oh, I love my job. <laughs> Matter of fact, in my job, I, I, I was, um, you know, a counselor mm -hmm. for the owner mm -hmm. of the company. Mm -hmm. um, I was the one that counseled marriages and just ministered to the people there. So I, I, I mean, I have no problem. They give me good bonus uh -huh, and uh -huh. make good money. Uh -huh. good so I was comfortable. <laughs> and, and the Lord called me of that job, he wanted, he said, I don't want you to go back, I want you to give me your time. I just think that that was the devil. Yeah. I said, yeah. I cannot be God, that's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got light bill, all kind yeah, of bills yeah, to pay, I yeah. mean, I no uh -huh. way, that's the devil talking. Yeah. Devil, stay over there. <laughs> so I got in my car, on my way, heading to my job that I love so much. Mm -hmm. And um, I got in a car accident, mm -hmm. and a van came and hit my car. And as the van hit my car, my car turned around and turned back opposite to oh going back Lord. to my house. And I remember the guy that hit me, he was panicking, he was so nervous and he was so scared. He said, I said, please, please, it's okay, it's okay. Because all I know, I was sitting in God's mercy. Amen. And I was sitting in God's grace. Mercy and grace was there mm -hmm. because I knew that I disobeyed God, leaving the house, heading to that job that I love uh, so much. 
-huh. I knew that I did. Uh -huh. and, and so I went to the job, and the, the owner, I went to the owner, and I told him, I said, listen, I can't work for you anymore. And he asked me, said, um, he said, what can I do? Is there anything that we have done? What, what have we done? Wow. I said, nothing. I said, the Lord really calling me to, to, to pastor. You know, and I said it with just like to pastor. You know? <laughs> really didn't want to do it. And, and really, I pastored for three years yeah. out of obligation. Mm. I didn't pastor out of just loving what I'm doing. And, yeah. and, and my yes really was a no. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Can I just uh -huh. be real? Yes, my yes, yes was yes. a no. My yes. yes was a no. And so I knew I had the accident, so I knew that you know, I was in between life and death. Yeah. If I if I do it, I will live. If I don't, I die. Right. And right. so I did it from that place. Mm -hmm. Not that I love what God called me to yes, do. Yes, yes, I yes. just love the Lord so much, so I'm just gonna pass him. No, mm -hmm. not true. And so I did it for for about three years of fasting, I did an obligation. I was casting out demons. Mm -hmm, I was laying mm -hmm, my hands on mm -hmm. sick, and they will recover. Yeah. Man, sign wonders and miracles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and people were just getting excited and being blessed, and mm -hmm. they had no idea that inside I was doing it out of obligation. Wow. Because I really didn't want to do it. And that, and 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 if you ask me, how did I embrace that place? Yeah. Yeah. I embraced that place because he gave me a revelation of the why and who I am and why he wanted me to do this and what my purpose was in the earth. Wow. And and when he gave me the revelation, everything makes sense. Yeah. And and, yeah. and you know, I used to say to him, Why not my sisters? Why not my brother? Why me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and but when I got that revelation, I not only love God. This was not just now loving God, because we can just love God. Right. You know, you, right. you, talk, you, you right. talk to a sinner, and they'll tell you, oh, yeah, I, love I love God. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a different to, for when you fall in love with God. Right. When you fall in love with God, you can say like David said, it was good. Yeah, come on now. Come How can you call now. reflection good? But David said it was good. Yes. Why? Because David loved it. He fell in love with God. Yes. And so I fell in love with God. So that's what got me here. Well, I, I want to know about that place because I, I kind of want to stay right there because there's a lot of people that are in that place because I know that I have been in that place mm -hmm. uh, up until just a few months ago and we're going to talk more about that mm -hmm. when we come back after this. As I sit here enjoying the teachings from the leading of the Holy Spirit that has been poured into the belly of this great woman of God, I feel honored to be in the presence of someone who is truly a general in the kingdom. She seeks out the blueprints and the strategies that are needed to win many spiritual wars. During this precious time with her, I glean with urgency because I know the season of application is very close. Her passion for the souls of the world dictates the truth of her character. Strong, yet humble, she motivates the ones around her to accomplish everything that God has put in them to do. She carries out this assignment with great pleasure and peace. You can see her heart as she embraces the joy of pleasing her Savior. Next, Michelle and I talk about her book, When Purpose is Contrary to Promise, and learn more about the in-between place. The place where you must trust what you've already been told, even though the season looks fruitless. We embark on unfolding how to handle what it looks like now versus what it's going to be later and answer the age old question of what if. If you are ever visiting the Northeast Ohio region, or if you live in Northeast Ohio and desire to have a church home, Pastor Jeff and I would love to have you come and make New Wine International Fellowship Church your home. We teach on the foundation of love and spiritual development. New Wine is truly a family of hope, deliverance, faith, and covenant. Services start Sundays at 10.30 a.m. with breakfast with the pastors. Our church has a huge buffet and fellowship with morning worship starting at 11.30 a.m. Come out and be welcomed into the New Wine experience and meet Pastor Jeff and I. We'll make you feel right at home. For more information about New Wine International Fellowship Church, 
please go to ltaproductions.com. This church will change your life. So we were talking about uh, the feelings you had out of obligation. I think that's so powerful because many, many pastors, I think there's a misconception that uh, people think that being called into pastoralship is a, you know, a hooray, hooray kind of thing and people actually want to do it. I get concerned, Mom. I get concerned when people get happy mm -hmm. about being called to that role. I I'm going to be honest. I get concerned about it because I'm like, I I if it's anything like what I've been going through for the last three years and what you went through, mm -hmm. I didn't accept it or embrace it until last, I would say, Mom, October, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. when I had, I came home and saw the people mm -hmm. a totally different way. Mm -hmm. um, at first, I thought it was a burden. Yes. Not only did I think it was a burden, yeah. I, I thought it was unfair, like you said. Yes. I yes. thought, you know what, I could be doing something yes. greater. Yes. This, yes. I, I, and I can't, here's, here's the other trick I did. I tricked myself. Mm. I'm an apostle, not a pastor. Mm. You, yes. you see what I'm saying? Yes. I tried to separate. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. but the truth is, I'm supposed to be whatever God needs whatever. at that time. Yes. Yes. So yes. tell me, I, I want that brought out more because we have so many people mm -hmm. that are walking around thinking that, you know, it's a bad thing mm -hmm. in a sense. But the truth is, God will teach us how to embrace it. To think so, that way. Yeah. Yeah. When, as a matter of fact, the Lord. The people that he gave me, it was, it was, it was, it was really crazy, because I think about five of those people was working. <laughs> Everybody else, nobody has had a job. Uh, 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 five of those people <laughs> was working, and and I believe, and I, I just think that you know you are unfair. I uh, literally thought that God, you you could love me, yeah. and give me this kind of responsibility. Yeah, you just couldn't love me. Why would you want me to leave my good job mm -hmm. that was so good that I love, mm -hmm. and, and and bring me? here with people that don't even have a job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Five people have a job. Now we have all these stuff that we have to pay. <laughs> I don't know, five people have a job. You couldn't even give me the people, watch this, that do have a job. You give me the ones that don't have a job, they're struggling, you know, and they needed me to pay the light bill. You're right. Right. I'm talking about those people, Come you know, they, they, their children need meals yes. and somebody needs something and, and so it's always like looking like it's coming to take from you. So, yes. yeah. so, you know, even that and on top of all of me not wanting to do it. Yeah. So there is, there is just, and then when you look at the people, these were not church people. Right. That's another thing. Yes. These were not people that know how to pray and, yes. and know how to know oh the Bible and know how to help you. Yes. These were, all these people were depending on you. You know, these, <laughs> you gotta teach them how to pray. Yes. You gotta, you know, bathe, feed them through yes. spoons. You know, so so it was like it, it becomes a burden. It yes, feels it like does. it was this was, was a burden. And then I start questioning. Yeah. I, yes. I really start questioning, was that really you who called me? Maybe that wasn't you. Maybe mm -hmm. I was not really called. Yes. Maybe I yeah. called myself. Yes. Maybe, yes. maybe, and I start doing the maybe, and in the place of maybe, the voice of the enemy sound really yes. stronger than God's voice. Yes. And the enemy is giving you a way out and telling you, you don't have to do this. You know, you can go and sit in somebody else's church. Yeah. Oh you, you know, you can God. think about if you sit in somebody else's church. Yes. You know, you don't have all this responsibility. Yes. You're just gonna oh sit there God. and Teach eat from the, you know, eat from their table yes. and go home with your go family. Home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and go home with your family. Yeah. Yes. So, so, but, but, and that's the real, and that's, the, I believe, that's the real pastor. Yeah. I, I really too. believe the I real too. pastor is not is not is not happy. Yeah. When God went to Moses, Moses first he said Moses come. Moses saw him yes. in the burning bush. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could yes. Moses wasn't denying that I saw God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, it, and it's mm -hmm. something about when you see God. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw God. God and I hold this conversation. And he told me, Moses, go to Pharaoh, tell him let my people go. Moses said, I don't know how to talk. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's exactly what he said. I don't That's know. What to say. We talk about God. It sounds like Arnold and, and Willis. We yeah. talk about Willis. What you talk about? What you talk about? about? You know, we're talking about Jeremiah. Yes. Jeremiah said, "I'm only a baby." Yeah. You know what I mean? You, 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 when when God called us, I mean, I, I think it was it was um, 
I mean, David, you bring in the, the people that God's really, God really called, they never get excited yeah. to do the work. Yeah. You never get, get excited until God give you that revelation yes. of really who you are and your purpose yes. in the earth. Come Why on. are you here? Now, no, you're not here so you can just buy a house on top of the Come hill. Come on, tell you're not, it. You're not here so that you, you know, you can say, I have a jet and I got yes. millions of dollars. Don't you yes. know who I am? No, that's not why I make you. Those are benefits. Yes. But that's not the purpose yes. of me making you and sending you here. There is something here for you yes. to fulfill. Yes. And it is the, and it's, and it's those same little people. Yeah. You yeah. know, and the awesome thing about that, and I, I look now, I look back and I said every day, and I say it even to the people and the pastors that I'm past, that I'm training mm -hmm. and raising up now, I said, man, I said, I look and every one of these people that walk through the door, I look in them totally different. Yes. Yes. They are jewelry. Yes, I yes, see them as, yes. as God's precious Come cargos. On, and so these, true. There's no there's no no big I, no small yes. you. There's no there's no superior, there's no inferior. Nope. I mean, I don't I don't see them like that. I yes. just don't see them like that. I see it is a, such a privilege and such an honor. And the Lord give me this. The Lord give me this because I was I, I was not easy. I was really rough. Yeah. yeah. I was one of those rough child uh -huh. that my mother prayed very hard for me. Yeah. I mean, she spent a whole lot of time praying. <laughs> she, she put most of her prayer time just into me. If you are ever visiting the Northeast Ohio region, or if you live in Northeast Ohio and desire to have a church home, Pastor Jeff and I would love to have you come and make New Wine International Fellowship Church your home. We teach on the foundation of love and spiritual development. New Wine is truly a family of hope, deliverance, faith, and covenant. Services start Sundays at 10.30 a.m. with breakfast with the pastors. Our church has a huge buffet and fellowship with morning worship starting at 11.30 a.m. Come out and be welcomed into the new wine experience and meet Pastor Jeff and I. We'll make you feel right at home. For more information about New Wine International Fellowship Church, please go to ltaproductions.com. This church will change your life. I am Lynette Appling and one of my greatest desires and life's passion is to help as many women as I can come into the purest understanding of who they are. In my books, A Kept Woman and The Heart of a Woman, I write about how I came to understand my life wasn't about people's opinions, but it was truly about growing into a woman of great love. For a donation of $25, you can have both life-changing books. See how God can bring you from being barren, homeless, broken, and damaged to a life of great substance and victory. It can happen for you just like it happened for me. Call me at 1-855-823-5559 to order your books today. Um, I thank God, you know, that, that God didn't give up on me. In, yeah. What I love about God is that in the, in God will come, I was telling one of my spiritual son that, I said, what I love about God was so different from man. God loves when we are real. Yes, You know, God loves when we're real. He loves when we are honest. Yes, that, that, he does. No, I didn't go pretend and say, I'm just so excited. Yeah, everything yeah. is all right, all peachy pie. No, I was telling him, I don't know how to speak. Yes. Uh, Jeremiah, you know, uh, I, I don't have the right words to say. Right. I start trying, I start trying to find excuses. Yes. To see if yes. God going to bail yes. me out. Yes. I was telling a young lady this morning, one of my spiritual daughter this morning, I was telling them, I said, I wanted God so much to mess up mm. so that he could, so that I could get to get out of it. Yes. I'm serious. Yes. This is serious. I wanted, so I, I challenged God so much. I would, I would say, the day that you don't do this, then the day I could right, walk away. Right, right, right. when you don't Come do on. this, then I could get to get out of this. I was, I was waiting for God. I'm serious. Yes, I understand. To mess yes, up yes. so I could get out. Yes. So I know that, well, it wasn't my fault. It was mm -hmm. your fault, God. Yes. You didn't do what you're supposed right. to do, and now I could get out and go back right. to my job. Right, right. I'm so grateful to God that he's that kind of God, that he 
meet us right where we are. Yeah. That God will come right there. And he, I was telling one of my spiritual sons, I said, God love for us to be real. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter how far out you get, yeah. God will come out yes. there and get you. It doesn't matter how deep down you get in that mm. mess. If you can just be real, yes. God will come all the way down in that mess and he'll come right down in there and get you yes. out of that. And I just feel like I was, I was all the way out there. Yeah, yeah. And this was just, just a naive girl. This was just as a girl that was very insecure, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. somebody told her she couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it goes back, again, somebody told you you couldn't do it. Right. As a child, you know, growing up, my right. father, my father always said this. My father said, she can, she, she'll never be it. She can never do it. You know, and I remember as a, as a little girl, my, 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 my parents have 12 children and I was the last one, but for some reason my father didn't want another child. Hmm. And so I was the child that my father didn't want. He did not want another child. I just think that he thought my mom mm -hmm. got pregnant by herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so my father never embraced me and he never accepted me, never wanted a child. So growing up, I raised up into, into uh, uh, rejection. Yeah. I mean, rejection yeah. out of the, the eyes of my father was 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 you know regrets yes. and, and the hates and the words that would come yes. forth from his mouth. And my father would 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 be, I wish you were dead. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I wish yeah. you were not born. Yeah. I wish you were not here. And he always, my father always think his word was always, you will not make it. Mm. You will not make it. You, I will not spend a dime on you because you will not make it. There's nothing good in you. And I remember. You know, you wanted the embracement of your father. You yes. wanted your father to believe in you. You wanted your father, you know, you're a little girl. You seek for your father's attention. You want to, Daddy, did you see me? Yeah. You know, no, Daddy never sees me. And, and I remember I wanted it so bad that I literally began to try to be like my sister. Yeah. I have a sister that we yeah. bought a year apart, and I just started to be like her. I, I did that for about for a day. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be on that day. Yeah, that day that's, not, that's really was who I am. Yeah, yeah. That's really was not who I am. So I did it for about a day. Uh -huh. And after a day, I just said, that's take too much. I had to go back to be who I am. <laughs> it was just easier it. just being who I am. So yeah. I just went back home, being uh -huh. who I am. <laughs> I am just the rude of David. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My mother prayed very hard for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. So. My, my favorite part of this book, When Purpose is Contrary to Promise, because, you know, this, this touched my spirit so. But my favorite part is the in-between place. What if? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Mommy. Go ahead and just take it right there. What if God doesn't do it? <laughs> what, what if God doesn't do it? What if God doesn't do it? The in-between place. You know, we know, we know the, the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, we even know the end. Yes. You know, because yes. he, he, told, um, he told Abraham, he said, Abraham, I'm going to bring your family. Right. It's in Genesis chapter 15, 13 and 14. He said, I'm going to bring your family into a strange country. Yeah. And um, he said, they are going to be in, in um, uh, afflicted. Yeah. Being bandaged for 400 years. Yeah. And he said, but after that. Yes. So there is an after. Yeah, come on, come on. There's an after. We know that there's a beginning. Yes. We know that there is an end. Alpha yes. And Omega. Omega. We don't yes. know that. Yes. Come on, come on. <laughs> you know, it's true. Alpha is here. We know, yes. you, know, you know, the beginning and the end, but yeah. the in between yeah. is where we are. The, the, the in between is the, the second trimester. Yes. You know, in the, in the, in the six months, that yeah. place of the six months, you're very critical because a lot of kids don't live. That's true. You know, it's if, true. You know, if, it's if true. You have that baby, the seven month is, 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 is safe. Yes. You know, and eight and you're up, but if that six months is very, very delicate. That, yeah. That, that, that in between. That yes. In between. In between. So after God have said unto Abraham, said, um, uh, get out from your, your father's house yeah. to this land that I will show you. The Bible said when Abraham get to the land, yes, that God said He'll show him. There was Canaanites there. Yes, that's true. Yeah, now, come there. on. So, come can on. you imagine Abraham move his family? God sent him. Yes, he pastor. God sent you to yes. open this church. God called you as a pastor. But when you get there, it looks nothing. Nothing. Like what God <laughs> <said>. <laughs> nothing. Nothing like yes. what God said. He yes. Yes. 
to this dry yes. up place. Yes. He sent you <laughs> into dry bones. Yes, he did. And then he turned around and asked yeah. you, can these dry bones? Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, you know. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so him, exactly. Talking. You know, and so, and so the place of the in-between is, 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 is very contrary. It's very contrary. Abraham get there and the Canaanites was there. And God never told him that the Canaanite was going to be there. He sure did. You know, he left out a whole lot of information. <laughs> you know, because when you, when you, when you, in the, in the beginning, you know, you know, when you start ministry, you have new ministry always attract people. People will come to new ministry. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They want the, it's new and, you mm -hmm. know, they, they're not obligated to too much. Mm -hmm. So they, you mm -hmm. know. But after giving about three years, four years down, and all of a sudden, you know, I mean, you start mm. seeing people dropping. Yes. Off, you know, you, 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 your intercessors start praying. Mm -hmm. Administrator walked away. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. uh, financial officer quit. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 <laughs> exactly, know, exactly. You know, media department yeah, walked away. Yeah, gone. You don't know how to put your things <laughs> together. You, know, like you say, okay, yes. God. Yes, <laughs> yes it's this true. Place, the place of the imagery. In this season of great controversy, ballooned egos, competition, envy, and personal agendas, it is refreshing to hear and see a woman who understands her own value. Though death and people have tried to destroy her, she remains in the shadow of God, seemingly unblemished by opinions, created boundaries, or limited mindsets. Michelle came into a revealed truth, a truth that brings liberty, hope, and favor. God is love. And to worship God within transparency always brings a different outcome. Her testimony changed to be more about the lesson learned than about the experience. If you are ever visiting the Northeast Ohio region, or if you live in Northeast Ohio and desire to have a church home, Pastor Jeff and I would love to have you come and make New Wine International Fellowship Church your home. We teach on the foundation of love and spiritual development. New Wine is truly a family of hope, deliverance, faith, and covenant. Services start Sundays at 10.30 a.m. with Breakfast with the Pastors, our church has a huge buffet and fellowship with morning worship starting at 11.30 a.m. Come out and be welcomed into the New Wine experience and meet Pastor Jeff and I. We'll make you feel right at home. For more information about New Wine International Fellowship Church, please go to ltaproductions.com. This church will change your life.